Hello friends, this video on understanding elementary shapes part 22 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now here we will talk about something more interesting. Now these three dimensional images can be formed from two dimensional objects. So we looked at the example of the playing card. So playing card was two dimensional but many playing cards together made a three dimensional object. Similarly, when you take the example of cuboid, so we see that a cuboid which is three dimensional, this cuboid can be formed, is actually formed from two dimensional rectangles. So what are rectangles? Rectangles are two dimensional shapes with length and breadth. Cuboid is a three dimensional shape with length, breadth and height. So here we will see that how many rectangles can form a cuboid. So if you stack rectangles one after another, so this is our two dimensional rectangle and here we will build three dimensional cuboid from a rectangle. So you kept one rectangle. Rectangle means just imagine a sheet of paper which is cut in the shape of a rectangle. So you place this and you keep placing more and more rectangles like that. So what do you end up getting? You end up getting a solid cuboid because the moment you keep stacking rectangles, you are actually building the third dimension which is the height. Right? Because here you only had length and breadth. So it was a two dimensional figure. But in this case, since you kept stacking one after another, you got this third dimension. So length was already there. So length is still there. Breadth was already there. It is also still there. But this is the height which has come additional. So this is the third dimension which we have added by stacking the rectangles one above another. Now in a similar way, this was, that was an example of a solid cuboid where it, it is not hollow from inside. You have something inside. So everywhere you have one one rectangle and so many rectangles form the cuboid. You can even make a hollow cuboid using rectangles. Let's look at this example. So how do rectangles form a hollow cuboid? You see, this is how a cuboid looks like, a matchbox. So this is one face which is a rectangle. This is the bottom face which is again a rectangle. This is the back face which is again a rectangle. This is the side face a rectangle again. The other side face a rectangle again and finally the front face which is a rectangle. So in this case you have a total of six rectangles which are arranged in this fashion to form a hollow cuboid. So what do we understand from this? We understand that doesn't matter in which pattern they are arranged but two dimensional shapes are only arranged in some or the other pattern to form a three dimensional object. So to add further to this statement let's take the example of a cylinder. So cylinder again is a three dimensional object and we will see that we can build a cylinder a three dimensional cylinder from a two dimensional circle. So if you have a circle like this and in fact you can do this at your home using coins. So coins are circular, right? But when you stack one coin above the other, you keep stacking multiple coins together. What do you get? You get a cylinder. So by stacking coins, you are actually building the third dimension. So that's how we see that we the circle which was a two dimensional shape, many such circles gave rise to a three dimensional cylinder. So with this, what we understand is whenever we talk about a three dimensional shape, we, we just not talk about angles, sides and vertices because there, there are a lot more to that in a three dimensional object. So what are the basic parameters or what are the basic parts of a three dimensional object, of any three dimensional object? And those three major parts are faces, edges and vertices. So what are faces? So let's take the example of a cuboid. So in a cuboid, each of these rectangles form a face of the cuboid. So when you look at it from the back, maybe you will be seeing this face. When you look at it from side, you'll be able to see this face. This side, this face. Front face is this one. So total, how many faces do you have in this cuboid? Just now we saw that there are total six faces in this cuboid. And each face of a cuboid is a rectangle. Right? So we can say that this is one face, this is one face, this is one face. So we can see three faces and three faces are not visible. One is at the bottom, one is at the back and one is on the other side. 
So total there are six faces in a cuboid. So whenever you look at any three dimensional object, each face of that three dimensional object would be a two dimensional shape. For example, in this case, the, the face of the three dimensional cuboid is a rectangle. So each face is a two dimensional rectangle. Perfect. Now we see that any two faces meet at a line segment. So that line segment is an edge. For example, let's call this as face number one, face number two, face number three. So you see face number one and two, they have one side in common, that is this side. So this side is an edge. Similarly, face number one and three, they have this side in common. So this side is an edge. Similarly, two and three will have this side in common and this is edge. So basically each of these sides, each side, each line segment is termed as an edge. So these edges are the common line segments between two faces. Now when you look at this cuboid, how many edges do you have? Now when we look at a cuboid from the front view, we can see how many edges. So this was, this is one edge. Let's call this edge number one. This is edge number two. This is edge number three. This is edge number four. This is five. This is six. This is seven. This is eight. This is nine. So nine edges we can see. Do you think there are more edges? Yes, of course, because there is an edge somewhere here which is not visible from the front. So that is an edge. That is edge number 10. Similarly, there will be an edge here which would be a common line segment between this face and the bottom face. So this would be edge number 11. There would also be an edge here which would be a common line segment between the back face and the bottom face. So that would be edge number 12. So there are 12 edges in a cuboid. Now it is not very easy to say how many edges are present in a three dimensional figure because it is not only about the line segments that you see. It is also about the line segment which are there but which you are not able to see. Right. So in this way we see that there are six faces and 12 edges in a cuboid. Now what about vertices? Now vertices are still the points where the edges meet. So you see that at every point there are three edges which meet. For example, edge number five, edge number one and edge number six, they meet at this point. Similarly, at this point, edge number one, edge number two and edge number three, they meet at this point. If you consider this point, edge number 6, edge number 7 and edge number 11, they meet at this point. So like that, how many points do you have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So there are a total 8 vertices out of which 7 of them are kind of visible from the front view but one which is here is not visible from the front view. So all in all, we can say that in a cuboid, there are six faces, 12 edges and eight vertices. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.